Wap up, loop up. The wap up. No. Hi, welcome to the amateur hour. All right. The heroes of heavy have been on a long hiatus. All back. All back. We we did uh, stuff. Yeah. So we um, we killed Astos. We woke up the guy. And now we're in the castle. We're in the castle. Um, check your inventory again. Oh man, there's no getting past him. I okay. I got 33 potions. Yeah, check check your equipment for a sec. Oh, 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 oh. Um, love eating a burrito. Mm -hmm. It's a really good burrito. Um, His num has the most ack out of anyone. He's got 82. Stanley's only got 76 ack. But, he's, but he, unfortunately, he's only got 16 death. Which is atrocious. But he's got 55 Eva. Eva. It's Eva. 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 It's like the Eva foam I get that I make all our LARP stuff out of now. Anyway. Um, yeah, check... Check in the castle. I think he has some good stuff to get. If that Excuse guy would me, move. sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Please move. <laughs> yeah. Don't Excuse don't me, walk sir. away. Stay there. If you walk away, he'll walk up and you'll be. Excuse don't, me, don't sir. Do the... okay. Excuse me, sir. Oh, you gotta shove Excuse him throughout me, the whole. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Stop being an asshole. No! He went back! I told you! Sir! No. No. no uh, uh, okay. No. no. Yes! There you go! Okay. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking elves, man! <laughs> go back to your cobblers. Okay. Um. Oh, joy. I'm outside. Now, I don't know for sure, but there might be. <laughs> Was there anything on that? It's just a room. Was there another room somewhere? I'm I hidden to God. There... <laughs> no, Am I know I... the layout. I can just get. Wait, that just goes right back up. I don't need to. Wait, I think on that side of castle though, we have already been this way. There might be treasure chests. Oh, there's a door. There's yeah, a thing in there. Up there. Okay. So I gotta go out and around. You can't go, go that up. way. <laughs> you gotta go all Damn it! <laughs> 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 gotta go all the way around. And that's the long way. Damn it! Yeah, go, <laughs> go to the right. Go around the outside. No, Damn that's it. too far. <laughs> go to the. Go up. Yep. Just, yeah. <laughs> left. Yeah, you gotta stay close to the wall or else. You're <laughs> Don't go too far. Okay. Just watching him run, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> oh. you, you blew it! It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's your fault. Okay. Mithril hammer. 700 gill. Bronze gloves. 800. Whoa. Alright. Um... Was Tapapa using a hammer? No, he's using a staff. No, uh, oh. uses hammers. Yeah. Someone needs the bronze things. Yes. It's not him. But he just got He has already enough defense. You need to even this out with your party. You can't have one per- yeah, 16 defense! Give him the gloves! <laughs> he, won't, he can't use them. Give someone else the gloves! <laughs> Give it to- me. It doesn't fit on anyone else! God damn it. <laughs> He's the only one who can use a glove. Jesus. All right, never mind that. Um, okay, that's enough here. You can leave. <laughs> uh, check your key items before we go. Key items. Oh, that was my phone. Key items. Yep. That's not, not the, key how items. How do I? How do I? Oh, that's how. Okay, we have the mystic key. Okay. Crown. Um, we got the mystic key. We gotta go to the western key, key to the marsh cave, and the temple of chaos in that order. So. So, um, which one first? Let's go to the Western Keep. Is that the place where Astos was? Yeah. Okay. 
Wanna go do this? Okay. You need to go do this? Okay. Should we uh, jump ahead? Throw me up there? Nah. We can keep up a conversation. Alright. <sighs> so, so yeah, uh, before we started this, we were talking about Pokemon and how Gary Oak has 10 of the 8 badges you can get in Kanto. Oh yeah, a lot of people like to talk about uh, Gary's <clears throat> Gary's oh-so-special 10 badges, but um... We looked a little closer. You ever looked at those badges? He, has, he only has 3. I don't know what the other 7 are. There are 7 badges that are clearly not the Kanto badges, and clearly not any other badge for that matter. So, he just made it up. He just made it up, because Ash didn't know any better, so he could make him feel bad. Those are not real badges at all. What if there's just other towns that we don't know about, or like people who, who like started a home gym? Well, that could be the case, but... But um, then he killed them and murdered them and stole the badge, or something. Or, or, or something less morbid? Like, beat the gym battle, maybe? <laughs> yes. In any case, uh, yeah, these badges right here, those ones right there, you see them. Yeah, those are all, those are all fake. Not a single one of those is real. Gary Oak goddamn cheated. Yep. Yep. I was wondering this in the beginning because if you guys recall, way back when, in 19... <laughs> um, Gary uh, got his ass kicked by Giovanni, right? Yeah. Well, he never went back and beat him, right? He never got the Earth Badge. So we went, I wonder if he does have the Earth Badge, and we checked, and he doesn't have it. He's so, got some... Other badges? Yeah. But they're clearly not. There was not. a green one, I'm like, is that the Earth Badge? Nope. No. It looks like the Companion Cube from Portal. It is. Totally is. Um, yeah. He, he doesn't have legal Kanto League badges. So he couldn't do the Elite Four Challenge even if he wanted. Keep going down, there's a door. Mm -hmm. okay. I think there's a door. Nope, it's not a door. Not, it's a decoration a door. door. <laughs> doesn't actually open, it's just painted on the wall. You gotta go all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note, treasure. <laughs> ah, of course. Yeah. These are undead, right? Yeah. Dyra. All right. Uh, I've been playing Bravely Default. Uh huh. It's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not like in Bravely Default where you can go cure the enemy and they'll die. Yeah. No, it's not that. Or way. you know, cure the enemy and heal them. Well, I think that's what would happen in this case. It may not. But, in this game, your your magic for curing is best kept to yourself, unfortunately. A falchion. Uh-huh. And we're gonna, we're gonna get fights on each one. These guys are weak to fire? What do you got, Stanley? I don't remember. I haven't done this for a while. I don't think the DR works on them. It might, but I don't know. I don't think it would. It's weird with this game. It might, but it might not. We'll play. Fire! Um. Whoa. Really good. What else were we talking about? There was something else we were talking about that I was trying to... Oh, no, 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 no. There, it wasn't something we were talking about. It was something that I was thinking of. It's like... Yeah, if you walk in front of the spot, it Dad. triggers a fight. Oh, at least anything. <laughs> Those are always dangerous spots. So don't go there. Oh, but if something works against gravity, would it have negative weight? Come again? Like if you if you put an item on a scale and it floated upwards, would it have negative weight? If it's not affected by gravity? Mm. Like I don't mean like just because helium's lighter than air. Like I mean you go above air, helium would have weight. I mean just no matter what, it doesn't. Well, this are, are you or talking about had negative weight? Is that what gra would happen? Gravity for us is sort of determinant on Earth physics. Yeah. Gra gravity would be different if we were on the moon, right? Yeah. Which is also still being slightly affected by Earth's physics. In fact, all very much affected by Earth gravity. But if you think of it that way, well, we all are affected by sun gravity. So enjoy your complicated question. I'm going to keep eating my burrito. Uh, I, I was just hoping for an answer. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I don't have any more comment on it. <laughs> no, I, I was just asking a question to make someone else think. I don't want to think about it. That's well, why if, I asked the question. If a physicist happens to be watching this, then I suppose they can explain it. 
uh, please leave a comment in the comment section of um, things. Post, right, post your credentials for the world to see. Optimal. Now he's got a falchion. Okay. Nothing. Power staff. Power staff. And now he's got steel gloves instead of bronze. Because no Great. one else can wear gloves except for his name. Okay. So then next is Marsh. Um, yeah. Da, 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 ba, ba, da, ba, ba, uh, inside da, da, there's an antidote, 1,220 gil, and a silver armlet. If you really want it, I mean... The armlet would be good for... Well, why uh, not? Let's let's go for like 100%. That's good. For, oh, you don't want to do 100%, trust me. <laughs> you do not want to do 100%, or else you'll be in here for at least 42 hours. Ah. Uh, in fact, longer than that, because in my run that I have beat this game, mm -hmm. I still haven't fought all the bosses. Uh, I fought all the optional bosses, I fought all the main bosses, but the secret ones that you just have to run into by luck, yeah, I haven't fought those. Uh, and granted, I don't know if, how difficult they'd be at this point, because I've over-leveled in that game way too much, but, yeah, I don't know. Oh, holy shit, uh, we've already gone 11 minutes? That can't be right. Hmm. Might be. Anyway. That was a fast 11 minutes. I swear I just turned on this game. and then Nope, we it has been 11 minutes. And then we talked about Pokemon, and then... So maybe we shouldn't go to the marsh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sure we can find other things. We don't, we don't need that silver armlet. Then we should go to the Temple of Chaos instead. Yes, let's go back to Garlic. <laughs> See, if this was Dragon Quest, we'd have some warp wings on us by now. And those would let us just hop back to an old kingdom. Wish we That'd had some nice. warp wings right now. So we didn't have to walk everywhere. <laughs> Glad you remember your way around somehow. I don't know. I guess I just have like the natural. You have mind, good. Mind you have good uh, navigation skills. I guess so. You can sense electromagnetic currents. <laughs> so you know. You just know your, geogra your geographical location at the drop of a hat. I, I know we need I to go back remember. to our boat. Yeah, I remember. I, I just don't remember the specific geographical layout to the boat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh God. I thought that died months ago. <laughs> oh. No. Why? <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Just shut up and take your, your money and leave. That's how you pronounce it. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> I'm just pronunciating the words. Don't, don't right. get mad at me. Well, at least we're not getting killed anymore by the general monsters around yeah, here. I know. We, we seem a lot stronger than I than I remember. Well, that's just kind of what happens in this game. Yeah. Well, also, since I've been playing Bravely Default, I'm used to difficult fights. Yeah. And it's just like, haha, we're the new enemies that just showed up in this area that you got to. And we and will destroy you. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna stop at the end. That's a uh, good idea. Elfheim! Inside the air. A hundred gil? What the hell, man? There's no way I've got enough money for that. What if it was a hundred gil per person and you had to decide who you wanted to sleep? Uh, that wouldn't be fun. Well, Here's something else. This is the only, this is the one room. So if one person decided to sleep here, they would rent out all four beds. Would, would they? It's just the one room. It's like 100 gil for a room. That's the one room with four beds. I've never been to a hotel that has four beds in a room. I've been to and one. And also, the there's no door, so the whole time you're sleeping, the guy <laughs> behind the desk just like slowly inching forward over the desk. And he's like just, just staring into the room, I'm watching you while you sleep. See, in Dragon Quest. And inns, they have doors, and they're on a different floor, and they have more than just one room. See, I just... Yep. There's some things. Ooh, some buccaneers. Buccaneer. Uh-huh. A dollar fifty is near a buck. <laughs> Did they make that joke last time? 
I feel like I made that joke last time. I don't time. care. Did, Stop. I gotta go back to the footage. You ready for your history lesson? <laughs> the exist the where the name Buccaneer came from? It's actually a term that uh, happened around the whole before the whole piracy thing became a big deal. There was uh, some guys that would later become pirates, from what we know of, uh, as we know them, I should say. And um, these guys would like camp out on islands, and the natives they met taught them how to make uh, food by uh, cooking it, kind of like jerky a little bit with fish and meat and stuff like that. And Five Goblin. It's mostly meat. Like pig and like making strips of it in jerky. Mm -hmm. And in any case, um, there was a way of cooking it and that was called a buckin. So, you were called a buccaneer if you cooked that way. And then that just sort of got connected to piracy because that's just a thing you'd do. Huh. So that's where buccaneer came from. Interesting. Alright. Uh, uh, also... We'll have to continue this next time on the Amateur Hour.